Hello again from DNN Custom Creations. Uh, time for another update. This is an April update. And what I want to do in this video is I'll talk about the modification to the uh, two tiered cart that we were talked about uh, in March. Uh, I'm also going to drain the table and uh, see how bad it is. And uh, we will uh, drain it and then uh, clean it up and refill it. And you'll be able to see the way the uh, water system is designed. So uh, also we'll talk about, uh, you know, it never ends. You get started in cutting these things out uh, on this plasma table. And then I wasn't sure how it was going to work. So now that I've uh, got a couple months into it, I realize, well, now, you know, you have to add some more stuff. You got to add some powder coating stuff. If you're going to paint, you got to figure out uh, where you're going to paint at. I don't want to paint inside the shop here. So that's another logistics issue. But uh, for the powder coating part, um, I have done a little bit of changes and actually built myself a, a little uh, powder coating booth. I'm still stuck with just that little tiny oven to uh, do the, the powder coating, but I'm in the market for uh, something a little larger, probably with an internal diameter of about three and a half feet by three and a half feet, maybe by six feet. Uh, that ought to be fine. Uh, I've got some uh, offers out right now. So uh, just one more thing that you uh, add, you know, the plasma table itself was one, then you wind up having to add all of these other things in, the, in addition to that. But anyway, let's uh, talk about uh, the mod to the cart. Let me turn you around here. So originally the cart, I was just gonna cut it down so that it was the same level as the uh, table. Then I thought, you know what, Let, let's put some rollers on this thing to uh, help slide that material on and off, which is I did. As you can see, there's a bunch of the uh, one inch diameter ball rollers uh, each one of them, I think, is uh, capable of, I don't remember now, they're cheap ones, you know, maybe 50 pounds or so. But when you add all of those up, uh, that's capable of probably handling more than the cart could handle. Well, so I thought this was a good idea. Um, unfortunately, it is now so slippery that I have a hard time keeping the metal on the darn thing. Uh, it certainly does make it easier to get the steel on and off the table once it's lined up. But boy, you get the steel on that cart and you start moving the cart and the steel stays where it is and the cart starts to slide out from under, you know, uh, Newton's law. So um, I'm still happy with it, but it has made working with it a little bit of an issue. So I'm going to go over here to the table and uh, we will uh, take the steel that's on there off so that I can get ready then to uh, drain the table and I'll show you how that cart works. <clears throat> so it's right at the level that need to be. Oh, let me take my uh, clamp off. By the way, I'm using this magnetic uh, welding clamp. It works really well. Uh, all you do is take it on there and, and uh, I've been real happy with it. I haven't had any uh, issues with, with grounding. All right. Uh, the one thing is where you've cut, it hangs up on some of the uh, slats. knocked a little thing off the bottom of my torch, a little cup. But there it is. And let me uh, make sure you're, you're in view here. I want you to see as I start moving this cart, uh, the steel slides right right off. In fact, I had a piece come off and I was afraid it was going to land on my foot. Uh, anyway, so there's the status of the cart. Uh, the next thing I want to do is uh, 
I'm going to drain this table and uh, I'll show you the water system in the process. So let me get that set up. Okay, I'm going to handhold this. It's probably the only way it's going to be, uh, be able to see what I'm doing. But uh, there you can see is the 16 gallon tank. And what you notice is the two drains that are in the table are both connected together by, uh, this is PEX, that's half inch internal diameter PEX. And uh, one leg of it goes over here to this sediment filter with a ball valve. And then we'll get around the other side, but basically uh, there's another leg then that comes from the pump that pumps it back up through that um, section to back into the table. So first thing let's do is let's go ahead and drain. And I do that by just turning the ball valve. And it, so you can see the sediment filter. Uh, and it is now draining into the tank. And uh, it takes, I would say, probably five minutes to completely drain. So I'm not going to make you watch that. But uh, I'll talk a little bit about uh, what I've done basically to keep the table reasonably clean. Uh, you guys that do this kind of work, you know that brown scum that uh, gets on the water after you cut. I just take a paintbrush and I pull it all off to one side and then uh, uh, basically ladle it off into a, a paper towel. And that's that keeps the water reasonably clean. Now, uh, once we drain, we'll see how bad it is underneath. I also will uh, take a magnet and I run it through the slat area and pick up, you know, the, the bigger pieces um, while I'm cutting. But uh, I'm sure there's a lot of scum on the bottom of this thing. So uh, when it gets drained, uh, I will bring you back. Okay, the table is now drained uh, as much as the water is going to come out. And um, I have made the mods so that uh, the drain are lower than the originally shipped so <clears throat> most of the water comes out and this is basically what you see uh, you can see the material that's uh, left in the bottom now while it was draining and it took about seven minutes <clears throat> while it was draining i removed the slats removed the and uh, took them out and hosed them off and then it's allowed me to kind of look at the slats and find, so when I put them back in, I'll put them back in such a way that uh, where I normally cut or where the cut seems to be, the majority of the cuts, I'll put uh, the, you know, the better slats in that area. And I'll, I'm going to run a wire brush over them, the same, basically a rotary wire brush, same thing I use when I remove the slag on the things that I cut. And uh, just knock off the stuff that's loose before I put them back. So I um, want to point out here that the drain is actually covered up by a small piece of Scotch-Brite on both sides. And that just keeps a lot of the major stuff from uh, kind of going down. Uh, you can see when you remove that, I'm actually getting more water now draining than I was when I had the scotch right there. So that ought to help even a little bit more. All right. Um, I guess, I don't know the how everybody else does it, but I guess I'm basically just going to get a putty knife and remove the majority of the stuff that I can uh, before I get around to trying to clean up the bottom. So let me bring you back. All right, here's a putty knife. Again, I'm not going to 
make you sit there and watch that mess. So I will bring you back once I have finished uh, doing the putty knife. Okay, I finished using the putty knife, and what you see is left over from that. I could get more out if I worked at it, but uh, really no need to do that because the next thing I'm going to do is I've got this cheap Harbor Freight shop vac, uh, and I'm going. It's a uh, I got the filter out so that it's set up to be run as a wet vac, and I'm just going to suck whatever's left in there out. So. <laughs> Might help if I put it in the suck side instead of the blow side. I think I'm actually going to change the end of this to be a little easier to suck this up, so I'm going to bring you back. Okay, I've changed the attachment to be a little easier to cover a bigger area. There's one half of it. I won't bore you with the other half. I'll be back. Okay, here's the table after I have uh, vacuumed it out and used uh, paper towels to uh, clean up uh, some of the residue. I didn't use any kind of a cleaner. I don't know that you would want to put any kind of a cleaner that might be um, uh, soap or uh, basic, in fact, uh, instead of an acid because I'm not sure how that would affect the uh, chemicals that are in your water uh, that try and keep the rust away. So it was just um, a paper towel and cleaned it up. Uh, next thing I'm gonna do is get ready. I'm gonna put the slats back in and I will put those in and get ready for the water fill and then I'll show you the water fill. Okay, I've got the slats back in, <clears throat> uh, turned them so that the ones that were beat up were in the area where I uh, don't cut as much. <clears throat> and I've also put my a little bit of a scotch bright back in covering the drains on both sides. <clears throat> now I wanted to show you the, the tank now is full. Uh, again, that's a 16 gallon tank and the table was probably two gallons low so you can see where that sits. Now, uh, what I do is I, I turn this off. Now let me take you around the other side. And here is the other side. What I'm trying to show you is that uh, the pickup is that green garden hose uh, that goes down to the bottom of the tank. Uh, it comes up and this small pump then pumps it back through the PEX up and then right back into that cross tube between the two drains. So I need to open this valve 
which I've, I've already done. So there's open. And now I'm going to run the little pump and we'll see it fill on the table. Okay, I'm going to stop it here, and once the table's full, uh, I'll bring you back. Okay, the tank is empty, and the pan has been refilled, and you can see it's a, a couple gallons low, but uh, it is now ready to go. Uh, I'll probably do one more. Uh, cleaning and then I will replace the water and basically the way that works is over here where this goes into the tank it's just in maybe about a half an inch I just pull that out bring it over here and I dump it into five gallon buckets and uh, that's the way I then get rid of that water and then I mix up what I'm using is plasma cut by Sterling Cool, and um, that's 20 to 1 ratio, so 1 gallon to 20 gallons, and uh, I've been real happy with it. I've left uh, metal that's been cut sitting on the table for two or three days, and there's no evidence of any kind of rust or anything, so it seems to work pretty good. All right, that is the water and cleaning the table part. So I'm going to end this video talking about uh, how now that I've got stuff that I've cut out, what I've had to do to try and um, get them powder coated. So I have made myself a little paint booth out of a uh, just a cheap shelving unit that I got. I don't remember if it was Walmart or something. And once I boxed it in with uh, some wood, well, then it was sturdy enough that I can leave the front open. And uh, I will show you uh, little, the bits and pieces of that, what I've done, and how it's worked so far in an upcoming video. Okay, from DNN Custom Creations, thanks very much.